हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डूइंग फैट्स फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स सो इन दैट कंटिन्यूएशन आई बिल्ड दिस वीडियो सो एज अ रिविजन आई कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फैट दैट इट वॉज द फर्स्ट स्लाइड आई शोन रिगार्डिंग द फैट दिस अ फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर दैट आई डिस्कस्ड फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर आर थ्री टाइप जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स मेटल सेमी कंडक्टर एफ ई टी एंड थर्ड वन द मेटल ऑक्साइड सेमी कंडक्टर फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स सो जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर एंड मेटल सेमी कंडक्टर फैट दैट इज कॉल्ड मेस फैट दैट वॉज मैंशन इन योर एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लैब इन द लास्ट सेमेस्टर टू बट दिस सेमेस्टर दिस टॉपिक इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन योर सिलेबस So I'm coming on the third point that is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So today I am going to cover this MOSFET basically. Its short name is MOSFET. So I'm just coming on that point. So the next slide you can see here this is a MOSFET. So if I will divide the MOSFET, so basically it is the two type of MOSFET exist. First enhancement type, and second one is a depletion type. and again if i will divide then enhancement type again is a n channel enhancement and other one is a p channel enhancement the same manner depletion type can be divided in a p channel as well as in the n channel so there are a lot of variety so in the previously i have chosen n channel jfet so here again i have uh, taken n channel depletion type mosfet for the detail analysis in the detail analysis i will discuss the construction operation as well as input and output characteristic basically it is called as a transfer curve as well as the drain characteristics so here we can say this is n channel depletion type mosfet okay so here you uh, you can compare also that what is the difference between a structure two because uh, this is a structure of jfet n type why it is called n type basically in the both i am taking as a n type because the whole current that is flowing from drain to source in jfet as well as in the mosfet in the both both circuit you can say just because of the electrons and those are majority in n type so when i am talking about this jfet this is also n type but the construction is a bit different here in midway there is all about n type and in both the sides i have taken p and p is not uh, taking very much uh, area in that n type but here if we'll see the construction of uh, this mosfet this is a depletion type depletion type mosfet n channel so here we can say it is already n channel but channel in this left side and it is channel has been created above the substrate p side so it's taking a lot of area has been covered by the p substrate and then why i have created the n channel here this is n channel this is n this is n this is n this all are completely it is called as a channel n type channel and inside n there is a electron in the majority we know that and because of electron flow current will be calculated that is it is called n channel depletion type mosfet okay now if i will point wise i will cover then a slab of p type material is formed with silicon referred as a substrate so it is a substrate of p type i have taken because i am going to construct n channel so i cannot construct n channel above the n substrate uh that is uh, a bit deep concept of vlsi technology that when you have a diff you have to take a different type of substrate if you want to create the channel i would like to create n channel that i have to take the p substrate if i would like to create p channel that i have to take n substrate okay so this is the point this is the first point in the second point what is the written the source and the drain terminal are connected through the metallic contact to n doped region it is not a new thing because already we have studies in the jfet and jfet already this is the ohmic contacts this is ohmic contacts 
and this is ohmic contact this is ohmic contact this is a drain this is a source so all the drain and source point are connected through ohmic contact so here again this is we can say it is a drain point d drain is written here hope it is visible this is a drain point and drain point is connected with this red region what is the red region red region is called as a metal contacts and then metal contact with this through metal contact this is connected with this channel at the same here we can say it is a source point source point is s point s is connected with this channel through this metallic contact so that is written here already that is very important directly drain and source they cannot connect with the channel again i am telling it is a very you know one lecture is devoted here in your uh, syllabus otherwise it's a completely vlsi field where you may get the depth knowledge of this but you have to understand a small small things here like drain and source cannot connect directly they have to connect through ohmic contact that is a metallic contact with through metallic contact with this channel so the third point is here gate is also connected to a metal contact surface but remains insulated from n channel by a very thin silicon dioxide layer this is also very important check here this is a gate point gate point is connected with first of all metal contact and metal contact again is connected and uh, uh, surface with silicon dioxide you can you can see this layer this complete layer is silicon dioxide it is a very thin layer this is also silicon dioxide this is also silicon dioxide and then after silicon dioxide this is connected with the channel end so you can see in a gate and channel there is a two layer between first of all metal contact another one is silicon carbide silicon oxide so what is the use of the silicon oxide we can say it it enhances increases the input impedance that is very important for the mosfet side because that is one important parameter that's why we have switched from bjt to mosfet otherwise why we are switching from bjt is already just in the transistor why i am doing lot of effort and to generate the mosfet because number of the parameter i want to enhance that so okay coming back to the point and very thin so you have to remember that gate is not directly connected with the metal contact it is silicon dioxide there is no direct electrical connection between gate and the channel of the mosfet okay right yes there is no direct connection between gate and channel there is a two layer in the between first is metal contact another one is silicon dioxide now in addition this is a very important point in addition the insulating layer silicon dioxide occurs for the very desirable high input impedance of the device this the insulating layer accounts for the very desirable high input impedance of the device it it, it help to enhance the input impedance of the device now see here this is n channel depletion type mosfets and this is symbol symbol is already mentioned here always whenever you use the mosfet symbol you have to take two parallel lines and this is the n reason so i have noted it down here if is a symbol for the p channel the arrow will be outside so that is the difference i have drawn here only for the n channel okay now in this circuit i have connected gate source terminal and i have taken here vgs equal to 0 same thing here i have taken here in the jfet you can compare with the jfet jfet i have taken first condition vgs equal to 0 vds is greater than 0 same here i am taking here this is depletion type mosfet depletion type mosfet is very much similar but not in the construction is is a bit a lot of things are very similar with the jfet that's why again and again i am you know it's comparing with the, the previous slides so vgs equal to 0 and here i have connected drain with the source with a vds is a positive value so whenever vds will increase as the current will increase so here we can see this as this is a graph this is a drain characteristic and this is a transfer curve remember first of all we draw the drain characteristic on the basis of drain characteristic we draw the transfer curve so here is a drain characteristic drain characteristic is must 
draw between output parameters and what is the output parameter here there is the id current is the drain current here and id current is the source current because whatever the electron is i have applied here positive voltage means here is a positive voltage in this end and there is a negative voltage means electric field will create here and in this electric field electron will travel from bottom to top and this will go like this you can see all the electrons i tried to mention in the arrow side you see this electron it is going upside and that's why current is going towards this drain through this metallic contact and then go to this channel n then this channel n then this last one n channel and this will go to the source and it will go like this it will travel like this the direction is already shown so this is the output current and output voltage vds so if i will draw the one characteristic at gs equal to 0 this is the most important because this is the characteristic gs equal to 0 this will be have like this so just i will see that uh, whatever the gfet is just 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 check whatever the gfet is here in gfet the same as depletion type mosfet see this this is a jfet characteristic the current is increasing at a particular voltage and after that the saturation region comes the same is there happening vds i am increasing the vds and vds is going to be constant i direct this drain current becomes constant after a particular voltage and what is the amount of the voltage it is it is again a do we don't call it as a pinch off situation but the same thing is occur here why it is occurring i am just explaining that okay just come back to here what is happening here this positive voltage i have connected with this n region this is n region and when and this is also the p substrate it means this p and n is creating a pn junction yes it is creating a pn junction because this is n region and this is a p substrate so this is creating a pn junction and i have connected this positive voltage with n side then what will happen if i will connect this positive voltage with n side then this pn junction will be have as a reverse bias it means the depletion layer will increase so uh, it will increase as the vds will increase so whenever vds increase depletion region is increases and when depletion region increases in such a level that here is a no path by which electron can flow it means that path is this is very thick so electron cannot move further so it, at the, at that condition resistor tends towards infinite and here we can say resistor after this particular voltage current is constant what is the mean of current is constant delta v upon delta i if delta i is not changing i mean delta i is zero then resistor will tends towards the infinite then after this particular point resistor will behave as a infinite so we can say here just i am explaining because you must know why this situation is going to occur otherwise it's just like a jfet okay on the basis of that and as well as we in increase the vgs in negative di negative directions we can see here the number of plot i have drawn here like here the vgs is equal to this is a vp divided by 2 this is a pinch off voltage pinch off voltage is minus 6 why at this particular voltage it is a 6 voltage minus 6 at 6 voltage it's minus at this particular vp by 2 is minus 3 voltage so i we can see whenever we are increasing the negative voltage at the gate side pinch off voltage will decrease at this particular time pinch off condition comes at this particular point here but whenever vgs is equal to 0 the pinch off condition comes as this voltage so we can see here the pinch off voltage is going to be decrease at the vgs increases so here here we have drawn that this is a transfer curve if we pre, if we connect in the back side what will happen here see it this this dotted line is connected with there then this 2 is ids vgs is equal to minus 3 then this whatever the vgs is written here the same i have collected and 
I have wrote in the x axis. See here, this is a 0. And this is a minus 3, it means this is the point if I will connect back, it will track and it will go down and this is minus 3. This is minus 3, this is VGS. And this is minus 3 is VGS. Same thing. All the voltages I have written here in the x axis. And the same as current I have written here. So that that cross that curve has been generated and created with the help of the drain characteristic. It's very very important. Every every year, the university uh, they ask this type of the questions. In where if they ask the construction, the two marks you have to draw this circuit, the diagram, and these points I have written here and symbol. It's very important, as well as number of the type you can write down. But they want to know the operation. You have to draw like this. If they want to know the operation, if, if they want to know in the five marks they are asking uh, drain characteristic, you have to draw the drain characteristic as well as the transfer curve. You both draw and parallel you have to draw because, because of this you have created this. Don't draw this graph below this graph. If you draw this graph below this graph, it means you are cramming the graph only. Because without this line I cannot draw like, like I, I connected this all the lines like this. And this is a drop line. This is the way by which you can draw, convert this graph into this graph. Because ID, the Y axis is the same. And X axis, I have written here all the values that I have here, VGS. Because this is a graph, transfer curve. Transfer curve graph is between ID and VP, VGS. And this graph, and this is a drain characteristic, is ID versus VDS. But remember, this VGS is negative here. And VDS is positive here. So this is all about depletion type. It is end channel depletion type MOSFET. Now I am coming on the second. This is the depletion type I explained. Now I am coming in the enhancement type. Enhancement type. Okay. See this. There is a slide for enhancement type. This is an enhancement type. First of all, check the structure. What is the difference between the depletion type and enhancement? Anybody can check. I will tell, but before my things, if you can observe that, it will be better. Like see here. This is an enhancement and this is a depletion type. You can see here, this is a piece of straight is here, piece of straight is here. Silicon dioxide is here, silicon dioxide layer is here, as well as metallic contact is in. here is also metallic contact. Drain is here, drain is here, gate, source, source and this metallic contact is here. What is the missing? What is exactly the difference? The major difference, the most important difference between this enhancement and the depletion type is that here see this. This is drain and source, there is already a channel is here. That is end type. And here also I have taken the end channel type. But here at the time of construction, no channel exists between drain and source. That is the most important point. You have to remember it. Okay. So characteristic of the enhancement type MOSFET is quite different. It must be the different. Why? Because construction is different. And if the construction is different, definitely the characteristic will be different. No doubt. Now what is the next point? Next point is current control in the end channel device is affected by positive gate to source voltage rather than the range of negative voltage and counted for end channel JFET and end channel depletion type MOSFET. And before this point, I would like to cover this point also. The absence of channel between drain and source terminal. See here, this point. Absence of channel between strain and source terminal is the major difference between enhancement and depletion type. In the enhancement type, there is no channel between drain and source. There is no channel. Keep in mind, there is no channel. In the examination, if you draw this channel, it is complete. You will get zero marks. In enhancement type, remember. Enhancement type MOSFET. There is no channel between drain and source. I have mentioned here. This is no channel. This is a P-type substrate. N-doped region. This is N-doped region. This is N-doped region. This is P-substrate. 
ओके नाउ बट वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअली यू मस्ट नो दैट विदाउट चैनल इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू एन अदर वॉट इट इज मीन इट इज मीन दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन इफ आई विल अप्लाई द पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल इन द ड्रेन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन वुड लाइक टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम ड्रेन टू सोर्स इलेक्ट्रॉन विल ट्रेवल फ्रॉम ड्रेन टू सोर्स ओनली एंड ओनली वेन देयर इज अ चैनल बिटवीन ड्रेन एंड सोर्स but as we know that in enhancement there is an absence of channel between drain and source there is a no channel but without channel flow of electron is not possible so what we can do in the next figure the answer in the next figure see here i have attached gate voltage and gate voltage is a positive voltage with respect to the source voltage and source voltage is connected with the ground i repeat gate voltage with respect to the source voltage is a positive value here i have connected and source i have connected with the ground why i have given here a positive value because this positive value attract all the minority electrons exist in p substrate all this minority electrons you can see all these electrons i mention here by e symbol all these electrons they are not here why they came because of this positive value this positive voltage attract all the electrons from p substrate and we know that in the p substrate electron exist as minority carrier and all the hole will go out all the hole it will repel all the hole why i have created here because when i will apply a positive voltage all the electron will come here in the left side and create a channel between drain and source so that is the most important concept of enhancement type mosfet where no channel exist already between drain and source but we apply the positive voltage so electron can come and can create a channel between drain and source now we apply the drain as a positive voltage what will happen then this positive voltage will create a electrical field as same as electric field has been created above the depletion type check here this is depletion type here we have connected positive and negative current is flowing like this id you can see here current direction same here the current will flow when i will apply the vds positive but what is the difference between this and this De depletion type already channel was there but in enhancement type we have created a channel with the help of gate voltage that is the most important point so if i would like to write the comment for this this is the most important point for me current control in n channel device enhancement type mosfet device is affected by a positive gate to source voltage i mention here positive gate to source voltage rather than the range of negative voltage encountered for n channel jfet and n channel depletion type mosfet it means n channel J jfet this is n channel jfet as well as n channel depletion type mosfet both are same almost in the way like we don't need to create a channel there but here we have to apply a positive gate to source voltage to create this channel that is the enhancement type mosfet symbol we can compare both the symbol this is a depletion type symbol 
and this is the enhancement why i have to here also i have taken two parallel lines drain and source this is pointing inside and this is also the pointing inside this is gate point all are same but here i have taken the dotted line here dotted line is showing is gap is there gap is showing that there is not channel already exist we have to create the channel so that is the difference in enhancement now i am coming to the next point of enhancement type mosfet that we can say here this is again the drain characteristic is just looking like similar as the drain characteristic i have drawn here in the jfet you can see here this is a drain characteristic and this is the drain characteristic i have drawn is the same as this drain drain characteristic you can match both the still this is for the enhancement type and this is for the depletion type both are looking same but not both both are not same why both are not same where i have chosen here all the vgs values are negative values see here zero then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 up to minus 6 but all the vgs value i have taken here all the positive value this is a major difference but if you write down the negative value you will get zero marks so keep in the mind what i am telling you because i am telling the key point only so when i am talking about the enhancement type mosfet there is no channel no channel it means you have to apply a positive gate source voltage you have to apply a positive voltage and that's why all the vgs value because vgs is a gate voltage with respect to source and source is ground all the vgs you have to take here all the positive value you have to take so this is a major difference and accordingly this i will draw my this curve so here again we can compare this transfer curve see this transfer curve this one all the values are negative values in the vgs but here this is all the values are positive values these are positive values positive side This is a transfer curve. Again, one more important point is here. This is a JFET, and uh, this is a depletion type MOSFET. Both characteristics almost same, and we can say the relation between ID and VGS. We can find out the relation with the help of this Shockley equation. This is Shockley equation. Shockley equation. Shockley equation says ID is equal to IDSS one minus VGS upon VP. These are. But here is a big difference in enhancement type. What is that? This is the enhancement type MOSFET. In enhancement type, it doesn't follow the Shockley equation. It follow this equation. For VGS is greater than threshold value. VT is a threshold value. the drain current is related to vgs by following formula drain current equal to k is a constant vgs minus vt square so you you must keep in the mind so that was the small idea regarding mosfet and jfet so now you can see all my notes that is already in the google class you can take the print out of that and then after taking the print out you can listen my video and after listening that you have to do assignment by your own it must not copy because i will take a test after your assignment when the college will open i mean and accordingly your test i will judge that assignment you have done by your own or just copy Okay